Katie Lobarna here from Michigan Training Solutions. And today I'm going to show you how to roast Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts have a really bad rap, and I actually had never tried them until a couple months ago. They come in a bag like this. This is a two pound bag. What we're going to do is we dump two pounds into the strainer and we rinse them with cool water just to get some of the whatever's on there off. Let them drain out. And what we're going to do is we are going to prep them. To do that, Here's your little Brussels sprout, it's like a little mini cabbage. You're going to pull off any loose or discolored leaves. Then you're going to cut off the end just a tiny bit, half it. Then you're going to put a little slit in the stem part, like that. It does take some time to prep these, but it's worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all prepared and show you what to do next. All right, so we've prepared our Brussels sprouts. I put them in a bowl, and now I'm going to coat them with some organic extra virgin olive oil. For two pounds, I'm going to use about four tablespoons of olive oil. some simple olive oil, sea salt, and crushed pepper. Anyway, I have a list because the benefits of these are amazing. First of all, cholesterol, when you eat Brussels sprouts, the high fiber content lowers cholesterol by binding with bile acids that the liver produces for digesting fat. Basically, it helps lower your cholesterol through that mechanism, higher fiber. DNA even, that certain compounds block the activity of some enzymes, I'm not going to pronounce this, that can be detrimental to health and stability of DNA within white blood cells. Antioxidants, including vitamin C, E, A, as well as the mineral manganese. And then you have flavonoid antioxidants like isohamretin, quercetin, and camphorol, which serve to protect against the oxidative stress on the body's cells. Inflammation, you have a glucosolinate found in Brussels sprouts that fights inflammation once it's converted in the body to the molecule indole-3-carbonyl. Uh, basically, a half, a half cup of Brussels sprout also contains 430 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids, which also have with anti-inflammatory effects, and that's omega-3 fatty acids. Cancer prevention, uh, through their detox-activating um, ability, um, have been shown to fight and prevent various cancers, including bladder, breast, colon, lung, prostate, and ovarian. Cardiovascular support, um, digestion and diet, again the high fiber, um, phenomenal. 
vitamin K. It contains, one cup contains 273.5% of the recommended daily allowance. Promotes healthy bones, prevents calcification of the body's tissues, and serves as an antioxidant. Vitamin C, I don't really have to go over that. Amazing benefits as far as an antioxidant is concerned. And that's just some of the benefits of this vegetable. Not only that, it's a great alternative to broccoli. And if you have time to prep this, this little but head of cabbage looking miniature thing can change the way you look at vegetables. You will love it, but if you overeat them, I will warn you, the high fiber, you'll get some gas. So have some Maalox on hand. This is Mark Lowbrenner, let's see.